Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Trick. Somebody left me a pretty detailed, I'm not 100% sure uh, what's going on or why we're... The further you get out, you can see a white line separation when he did a clone. And a clone is a good way to do something like this because if we change this to a... Well, it didn't work. Um, let's get the interactive fill tool and let's fill that and change the fill a bit. It did it over here too. So his concern is he's got that white line. You can't really see it until you really back out. Well, what I would do is just grab it all and control G to group it. Set your nudge factor when you do, you have it set on really, really light. And just nudge it over like three times. The white line has gone away. I guarantee you if it printed, it would print like that. So that's the way around that. I would control G to group it. Um, you know, he's got a fill here. And I'm just going to maybe just use his uh, black and white version to kind of do this and see if I can rectify it. Because um, we can actually do this part in two parts. So I'm going to control D to make a duplicate, holding down the control button, I'm going to move it over here. Now I want to make sure that, and see how it's, it's a shorter version than what he's got. I am going to use the, I'm going to take a rectangle and fill that in just in case my smart fill leaks. And it does, and that's why you do it. Um, you know, part of the problem is like right there. There's two lines. Let's see if we can't delete one of the lines. Now let's see what happens. Nope, still leaking. Maybe it was because on this other side. Well, I see the leak right there. So let's look at the top. I think the top is fine. So let's close these two nodes. Let's zoom in. Let's open the Docker, Windows Docker's join curves. I don't know, well, mine's set on like 10 inches. That can't be more than an inch. Take the shape tool and then hold down the shift key and select that one and that one and then select them both and apply and join them. I'd actually go in and read, get rid of that middle node. You could actually read, get rid of both those nodes because it's sealed up now. Let's make sure the smart fill tool works. And it does. Good, so we're, we're going um, the way it should. You know, in a way, it'd be nice. Oh, well, we got another leak. You know, that one doesn't leak. This one does. Let's see what's wrong. You know, there's kind of a double line right there. That sometimes causes problems. Let's take away this field on this one. Let's try smart filling just that. Isn't that weird that it didn't leak thin? Now, what we could do to, to make this uh, equal, we're gonna take our, change our nudge factor to about two inches. And we're going to nudge this up. That way we just... I must have typed in 20. Two inches. Nudge it up because we can work on both sides at one time with the interactive fill tool. A lot of people might not reckon, realize that, but if we go from one end to the other and we put a, a dark color on that end, and put a dark color on that end. And then we're gonna have to get a sample of his gold somehow, how we're gonna get a sample. Uh, we'll use a smart fill brush. Let me zoom in where I can see that gold. So we're gonna get the interactive fill tool back and put that in about in the middle and go down here and get our eyedropper, take the gold and you see, and then you can add, you know, more golds um, and get away from that 
and he probably got a darker than I'm using like a gray. Um, but you can do both ends at one time. That doesn't look half bad. I would have made this black. Or blacker. There we go. So that's how you won't have that line. You know, that separation line. Now, it's kind of a problem when you're using the interactive fill tool to uh, make them both go the same direction or the opposite direction. So we're going to go smart fill tool. Click on your item. I made a duplicate of it. If you ever get into problems sometime when there's something going on that you can't figure out, a lot of times it's a duplicate. I don't know why that's making a duplicate. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to nudge that out of the way twice. And I think he had dark up to the on that side. It's just hard to get it perfect. Like, that's why he was probably trying to use the clone tool. You know, we got that. Now we'll grab that one. Interactive field tool. Whoop, that's, and go and put a darker one up here. So you've actually got them. Um, let me just show you if you use the It'd be nice if the attribute eyedropper would work in this case, but it does the opposite. You know, this this the opposite of what we need. So what I would do in this case would be to, um, I'm gonna see if I can delete that line. And just, let me go ahead and delete that line. And group this together, Control G, Control D to mirror it, or control D to group it and then mirror that guy and then take it and just move it over and then nudge it out of the way and get rid of that one and nudge it back and then nudge it back. And now you have no separation and you've got your ribbon done. I truly hope that's what he was wanting. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.